There's an old Irish saying that goes, Ante Bon Shula Bon Scala, or he who travels has stories to tell. There's also an old Kansas saying that goes, there's no place like home. I'm sure you've never heard that one before. Two summers ago, I traveled by myself to work and visit distant family in County Longford, Ireland for six weeks. It was the first summer that I'd done anything like this, and for me, it was a risk. But taking this risk allowed me to experience a different way of life. Sheep traffic on the road was a daily obstacle. Off we go, all loaded in the car on an outing, only to be brought to a dead stop by a slow parade of woolly floats. So we'd wait, and we'd wait, and we'd wait. I couldn't help imagining how a Pelham driver would react to such plodding, unapologetic jaywalkers. <laughs> but, taking, uh, but going to Ireland was especially important for me because it was the kind of thing that I never would have done otherwise. Before, I would never have called myself a risk taker. I would get anxious at the thought of doing anything new because I was afraid of messing something up or doing something wrong in some way. But in Ireland, I was forced to see so much more of what I was capable of. If I could live 3,000 miles away from my home, work as a counselor at an adventure camp for Irish kids, and you've never known panic unless you face a camp full of Irish kids, <laughs> and hold full conversations with people when I couldn't understand a single word of what they were saying, even though they were speaking English, I could probably do anything. In a poignant moment like today, it's easy to recognize that our greatest individual successes in our four years here at Pelham are the result of putting aside fears and taking risks. Everything we want is on the other side of fear. I'm sure that you've taken some kind of risk in the years that you've been in high school. Did you decide to take AP Physics with Mr. Lindley your junior year? <laughs> Did you run for a school election? take on an extra sport in addition to all of your other clubs and AP classes. Whatever it was, we've all done things that we were afraid of doing. What were we afraid of? Failure, a low grade, that we were going to die, and then still fail? None of this actually came from these worries, except maybe from physics. Our biggest and most intimidating fears from when we first started high school seem trivial and unimportant to us now. I remember living in fear for weeks of the day when all the seniors pranked the freshmen, only to later find out that this day did not exist at Pelham. <laughs> Our worries now are much more critical than Mr. Pena's living environment honors test, or figuring out what to wear on dress-up day for Olympics the night before. But the fact that these fears didn't turn out to be such a big a deal has allowed us to be more confident about our ability to embrace the unexpected and spontaneous that inevitably come with living. And we can't forget the risks and costs that other people have endured for us. Our teachers have stayed every day after school for academy and after academy because they believe that we can do well. Our guidance counselors have called us into their offices before college deadlines to keep us on track and helped us when we were panicking before and during and after the college process. Our coaches have sacrificed their evenings and their Saturdays to see us do well in tournaments and games. And most importantly, our parents, who have served as models of strength to us and have made sacrifice after sacrifice for us so that we could attend Pelham Memorial High School all of these people have allowed for us to sit here today, and for that, we should be extraordinarily grateful. Now, you might be thinking, why are you telling us this? I can say with almost 100% certainty that we've all grown more in the past four years than we have at any other point in our lives. I learned a lesson from my experience that I think can apply to any situation especially a situation that many people sitting here with me today are about to face, college. After four transformative years at PMHS, we're all about to take what is probably the biggest risk we've ever taken. And it's time to set the fears aside once again. I 
As we take our next set of risks, we have to hope that we've made wise choices. We have to hope that the major we choose is the right one. We have to hope that the clubs and activities in which we choose to participate are good uses of our time. We have to hope that the college we've chosen is the right one for us. This is the day when we congratulate ourselves and look to our left and right with thanks for our great fortune to have been shaped by our time at PMHS. We've got a world full of adventure ahead of us. The stories are out there waiting to be written. They are on the other side of risks taken. He who travels has stories to tell. We are our adventures and we are our stories. Find something that you are terrified of doing and board your flight, whatever that may be and wherever that may take you. Remember, Ante Van Shula Van Scala. Our stories are out there in our tomorrows. Let's go tell them. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2000.